Hello everyone, this is Jacob Ames, Technical Product Manager for DriveWorks here at Hawkridge Systems. And in this video we're going to see just how quickly DriveWorks Solo can produce a brand new assembly from start to finish. This will include all the required parts, sub-assemblies, the top level assembly, and all the necessary manufacturing drawings along with a handful of sales documents. I'm then going to time myself working through the same process manually as quickly as I can as a point of comparison. Now before we get started, I do want to let everyone know that I am working with a completed DriveWorks project for this case study, and there is a bit of work that goes into developing one of these. If you'd like to learn more about the process of capturing design parameters, producing forms, building design rules, and creating a project of your own, be sure to check the description below for links to learning resources on the DriveWorks website, along with live instructor-led training available through Hawkridge Systems. There's also a free 30-day trial available for DriveWorks Solo, to help you get started and see what the software is capable of. So be sure to check that out as well. All right, let's get to it. To start, let's review our design requirements. We're going to be creating a custom configuration of a wheelchair for a customer. And the goal is to make sure it fits them as well as possible while giving them the option to change materials, equipment, and colors. As the designer and manufacturer, we need to make sure to capture the customer's information ensure the wheelchair fits properly, and adjust the wheelchair assembly to include the customer's equipment selections while maintaining manufacturability. Finally, in order to respond to customer requests quickly, we also want to produce price quotes in addition to all required manufacturing documentation. With that, let's start the timer and get to work in DriveWorks Solo. First things first, I need to load the add-in from the add-ins dialog, and that only takes a few seconds to load up. DriveWorks runs out of the task pane and will ask me to open a project. This project contains my input forms along with all the rules and logic required to build the required documents, and I can share this project with others as well if I would like. Since the project has already been completed, I can simply run it to generate a new design iteration. The quote number is filled in automatically. I'll fill in our contacts details as they were given to us. And if we forget anything here, a handy task list at the bottom of the form will show us what's missing and will be prevented from moving forward so that no information can be missed. Next, we'll simply input the measurements provided by the customer as dimensions into the input fields for back height, thigh length, and shin length. Moving to the next page, we're presented with equipment options. Our customer has requested gray cotton material, a steel blue frame, and push handles, but didn't mention anything about an extra cushion. In the interest of saving them some money, we'll disable the extra cushion option, and you'll notice the price information updates to reflect the new lower cost. On the next page, we can specify the design of the casters and wheels. The customer indicated that they prefer sport casters, as well as the five-spoke configuration for the wheels. And once again, we can see the total price adjusting as we make our new selections. Finally, we're presented with a clear snapshot of the cost of each design element and a total price, along with the option to go back and edit the design if needed. Proceeding through the remainder of the form, we're prompted to finish the models and decide which documents should be generated. If this were only for quoting purposes, we could choose to generate only the sales-related documents, such as price quote, and finish this process even faster. Assuming we'd like to generate parts, assemblies, and drawings as well, we'll select all the necessary checkboxes and click Finish. Just like that, SOLIDWORKS begins automatically creating and driving an entirely new and unique data set for our wheelchair design. I'll keep the timer running as our documents begin to generate, but I'd like to take a moment to discuss the criteria we typically use in order to determine how effective DriveWorks is likely to be for our customers. When evaluating DriveWorks, consider the following. Are you frequently using pack and go, or manually copying files associated with a master assembly or a master part? Do you update copied parts, assemblies, or drawings by hand? Do you spend a lot of time adding new rows to design tables or adjusting equations? Are you working with customers or distributors to decide on options or packages for your products? And finally, is there a sense of urgency to produce price quotes for interested customers? If you find yourself spending a considerable amount of time on any or all of these tasks, DriveWorks can likely help and there's even an ROI calculator available for DriveWorks Solo to help you estimate the time and cost savings available to you based on the nature of your designs. Be sure to check the description for the link. 
DriveRex empowers and automates the design process by allowing you to establish input forms, rules, and logic, driving your design parameters, and even replacing assembly components as required. Drawings can be driven as well, along with sales documentation to produce a complete manufacturing and sales package in just a few short minutes. The projects you create can be reused as many times as needed, allowing you to rapidly iterate on designs and quickly respond to customer feedback while improving consistency and reducing human error. And just like that, we have a brand new wheelchair assembly in just over three and a half minutes, and that's even including the time I took to fill out the form. But what does this package actually include? Here we can see the top level assembly, but exploring DriveWorks results folder reveals quite a bit more. In total, we've generated one top level assembly, fully updated and mated together, two sub assemblies, likewise updated and mated, eight unique parts built to our specifications, three SOLIDWORKS drawings with updated references and scaled to fit on the sheet, one price quote including all customer details and itemized prices, one bill of materials, one cover letter with customer information, an e-drawings file for sharing with non-SOLIDWORKS users, and finally one JPEG snapshot of the top level assembly for miscellaneous use. That's a lot of data for just over three minutes, and after a quick review this would be ready to go for manufacturing. I can already guarantee that working through this process manually is going to take significantly longer, but in the interest of science, let's put it to the test. How long do you think it's going to take me? Let me know in the comments, and let's get to work. I'll speed up the footage to keep things moving here. First things first, I need to make a copy of the master assembly using Pack and Go, being sure to include the drawings here as well. Once that was complete, I needed to open the top level assembly and adjust the main driving dimensions for thigh length, shin length, and back height. Admittedly, I'm not the world's fastest SOLIDWORKS user, but I am fairly familiar with this model, and it still took quite a bit of time. On the other hand, when using the DriveWorks project, I really didn't need to know anything about the intricacies of any of the models. After adjusting the main design parameters, I suppressed the extra seat cushion in the top-level assembly, which was pretty straightforward, and began applying appearances. The difficult part here was that I didn't have a standard color palette prepared, so I had to make a best guess at the colors for the frame and the cushion material. Next, I switched the casters to the sport configuration and edited a cut pattern in the larger wheels to create the five-spoke pattern. The next step involved adjusting all the manufacturing drawings. Though they were updated to reflect the design changes, many of the drawing views were now too large for the sheet due to the new dimensions and needed to be rescaled and positioned along with the annotations in order to fit properly. This took quite a bit more time than I initially expected, and I also noticed that the wheel drawing in particular had a difficult time updating to reflect the steel blue appearance properly. This is probably my own fault, but still represents the opportunity for human error introduced through the manual configuration process. Last but not least, I published a quick e-drawing of the top-level assembly to share with our non-SOLIDWORKS users and took a quick screen cap of the model. All in all, this manual process took me just over 11 minutes, which doesn't seem too bad really except for one glaring omission. I still haven't created any of the sales documentation. The quote, bill of materials, and cover letters still need to be created by hand, adding another several minutes to this process. Ultimately, it's safe to say that this DriveWorks project has reduced my design time by at least 67%, and that's not even including the sales documentation. Plus, this wheelchair assembly is relatively simple and only has a few drawings. A more complex design with a greater number of design parameters or customization options or more drawing sheets would likely take significantly longer to update manually. Now for those of you who've been around this block before, you might make the argument that design tables or configuration tables and equations can do all this for you, and to an extent, you'd be correct. Had all our parameters been contained in a design table, we could have easily updated them to produce a new configuration quite a bit faster than this manual process that we just showed. However, design tables don't produce or update drawings, which are critical for communication and manufacturing, and also represent a considerable portion of the design process, meaning you'll still be stuck adjusting drawing view configurations, scales, positions, and annotations by hand. Not to mention this still leaves out the generation of sales documents, which are of course critical for quickly responding to customer requests. Design tables are also restricted to generating new configurations within existing documents, whereas DriveWorks can create entirely unique and independent file sets, and this can be advantageous for data management purposes. Finally, DriveWorks forms are known for being clean, intuitive, and easy to use, whereas design tables, 
they can leave a little bit to be desired. As seen by this side-by-side -side comparison, Traverick Solo can dramatically reduce the time required to produce SolidWorks parts, assemblies, and drawings for designs that would otherwise be copied and adjusted manually, or designs that are similar but different, even when they're not particularly complex, and the benefits only grow with design complexity. Even if your design work can only be partially automated, there's a lot to gain, including automated sales documentation to help you respond to customers in a timely manner and win business, as well as the ability to quickly adapt when a customer inevitably asks for a design change. Despite all its capability, Dravrick Solo represents just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to automation for design, manufacturing, and sales. Reach out to us here at Hawkridge Systems, consider registering for a class, or explore some of our other videos on Dravrick's Professional to learn more about CPQ capabilities, online configurators, connecting to databases, and much more. We hope you found this video useful, and we'd love to hear what you think of Driveworks or any new video suggestions in the comments below. Thanks for watching.